Hi everyone, I'm Baba Tunde. Welcome to my channel Africa Every Day. Today, as I've been repeating how to make potato chips and fish by Mr. Mike at Tom So, in order to make that, I've actually acquired all the ingredients. But point to note, I was unable to get the Vivaldi potato that Mr. Mike used in his video simply because of the uh, protests that is actually going on all over the country and uh, all over the cities in Nigeria here. So that has disturbed all activities. So I was unable to get it in the market. So instead of Vivaldi potato, I'll be using sweet potato. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, for my sponsors, Mr. Mike and uh, all my patrons, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for keeping this YouTube channel alive. Thank you. A massive thank you to all of you. Thank you very much. I can never thank you enough. So, let's enjoy this video. So, the markets were closed down, so I was unable to get the Vivaldi uh, potato. So, i am using sweet potato. This this one is the commonest type of potato in, uh, in Nigeria. So, this is the type that I'll be making use of. And Mr. Mike said that it will produce an identical result, and I hope it does. Okay, so now to to skin the potato now. Okay, the one that Mr. Mike used is it was actually fairly easy to skin by him probably because of the uh, sh sharpness of his uh, of his knife or the softness of the Vivaldi potato. I don't know the actual one. Oh, I wish our government will accede to the demand of the youth. This is uh, becoming the pain. The sovereign Nigerian is becoming unbearable for everybody except except the politicians. To divide this now, to look for fairly same same size. Okay, so for this now, as you can see, this one is hard. Unlike Mike's, this I think. That dropped a lot to rinse this. Okay. All right. So everything has been sliced now. The next is for me to. Oh. Okay. All right. Our water has finished. We're out of water now. Okay. But we have our water reservoir. So that's what we use to finish uh, cooking this. We have water reservoir. That's what we'll be using. And I'm even sure this is even enough to boil to boil the uh, potato because this potato is uh, hard harder than Mr. Mike's own it's going to take a longer time before it is uh, boiled to the to the normal level that it can be uh, well fried okay uh, I was not completely safe but uh All right, so I want to test the, just like Mr. Mike did, I want to test the sound. I want to test the sound of the uh, potato before it is uh, boiled. I want to see how, I want to hear how this one will sound. Okay, I don't know how Mr. Mike actually did it, but I can't really... Okay, all right, let me just show the hardness. All right, so I'll cover it and leave it for like uh, 10 minutes. Now I'll come back to check it. While doing that, I'm going to prepare the butter. Well, this one is actually uh, boiling. So I want to start the preparation of the butter now. So remember, it's not about the the accurate measurements of 
the wheat flour and also the corn flour, but it's all about the same having the same quantity of both the corn flour and the wheat flour. So I'll be using this out tin, like a three crown table. This is usually what we use in Nigeria for measuring a cup. So I'll be using this. This is the remaining of the corn flour that I use for preparation of the banana pudding. If you still remember that, if you don't watch that video, you can uh, go to Mr. Mr. Atomic Stream, Mr. Mike uh, channel to watch that video. So this is the remaining corn flour that I used. Can I see that? So for the wheat, we using the same quantity too. Yes, I think uh, it's roughly the same like that. Small pinch of salt. So, so like I said, this is the, the turmeric is optional, but I'm still going to put a very small quantity inside. We have uh, the beer. This is the beer that I've been using. 33 is a very common uh, beer brand in Nigeria. So this is what I've been using for mixing the combination. You can see that? 33 export. I don't know another country where this can have. This is actually available. But this is available in Nigeria. Especially the western part of Nigeria. I hope I get this right. This is the first time in my life that I'll be seeing, that I'll be hearing that beer is used in preparation of any kind of food. I have never heard of it before in my life. This is so alien and strange to me. Using beer in preparation of food. So alien and so strange. Yes. This is the desired thickness. This is the fish that I'll be using. Alaska Pollock. So that's what we'll be using for this. Yes, uh, I think it's ready now. I have to be very careful with this. Yes, so just like Mr. Mike did, we wait until all the water is drained. Alright, I want to test to see if the oil is actually ready. Uh, yes, I think it's ready, it's producing bubbles. Yes, I think it's ready like that. It's producing enough bubbles. You can see that. This is one of the one of my wedding gifts. I've never used this before. This is the first time that I've been using it. You can see how dusty it is. So I'll be taking one from it. I think the time has come for it to be useful. It is completely dried now. I'll not be frying everything at the same time. So I'm preparing the plate that I'm going to use to transfer the fried potato into. So let me just keep this aside. So just like Mr. Mike did, we dusted it with a uh, wheat flour. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm terribly sorry for the background noise. You know, I'm very sure many of us we have this kind of neighbors, so we need to find a way to live with them peacefully so i'll be putting it inside the butter now yes i think it's becoming golden now it's becoming golden now 
but not yet. Let me see, give it about three minutes now. While I'm waiting for the potato to fry up, I need to prepare the pea, the green pea. See that? Yes, it is ready now. So I have to transfer any to this now. This is the one that Jenny preferred, and I'm so glad I'll be going for <laughs> Jenny's choice too. Okay, so I'm going to warm this up. Yes, I think it's good now. Yes, you can see that it's good now. So that means it's ready. Yes, it is now very crisp. So the last batch now. I can't, I, I can't wait to taste this, believe me. This is like a, like a kind of a dream recipe for me. So I can't actually, I'm so excited to taste this. So I can't wait to put it in my mouth and feel the taste. For our next video, we might actually combine this English recipe with uh, some of Nigeria ingredients. So, Mr. Mike and I are still going to discuss that, how we can actually exchange some of these ingredients with our African ingredients and see how that would taste like. So if you want to watch that, subscribe and I'll turn on the notification bell so that once it's out, you can actually be notified. So I want to look at a sample. They're very crisp, but the inside is too soft. You can see that. I can't wait to enjoy this. You can see that? Alright, so I want to fry the fish now. Oh, I hope. When I was discussing with Mr. Mark, he told me some of the things that uh, we can actually use the remaining butter to fry with. And when I was mentioning them, he actually mentioned apple and was actually flabbergasted. I was surprised that, that you could fry apple too. I've never heard of it, read it anywhere before in my life, say so you could fry apple too with the butter. So I decided I'm really going to try this. I'm going to try and test it and see how it feels because I. It's, it's completely alien and strange to me. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to slice up this uh, apple and I'll mix it with uh, the remaining of the butter and fry it and test it. This is so, so strange to me. In fact, I'm still feeling like I'm dreaming. Brand new experience for me. All right, this one is perfectly done, perfectly fried. So, I'm going to fry the apple now, the sliced apple now. I don't want them to stick together, so that is why I'm actually separating them. Alright, the apple is ready now. Now I'm done with frying. Just to to heat up the 
green pea. This is the last one. I want to warm up this green pea. Drain it and make it ready for consumption. So this is everything. All right, so it is now fully ready. So uh, I have this. I'm leaving this one for your friend. I promise your friend that is going to each part of it. So. So, I'll be eating this separately. Separately. I want to have this taste before I don't this. So, I'll be eating this after, after eating all this for the apple. Then, to complete it now, I have this. The green pea. So, this is for my wife and this is my. I really can't wait to taste this. So, this is pepper. Just small quantity, small quantity of pepper. All right, I will not be using now salt because I don't really like salt in food uh, very much. So crunchy and um, this is so, this is so yummy and so fantabulous. Thank you again, Mr. Mike, for sharing this with me, and also my patrons for making this possible. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Alright, I actually love this. So, if I, I don't even know where I put my fork. I only find my daughter's fork. I don't know where I put my fork. I was just too excited to actually taste this. When, uh, my decision of the taste now, when I combine the uh, potato chip and also the green pea, it tasted like uh, eating boiled potato with beans. I don't know if I've ever eaten boiled potato with beans. So the taste was actually uh, very similar. And um, it actually has a wonderful taste. It was somehow satisfying. Very satisfying. And also, the fried up. But I was so surprised of the taste of the fried apple, especially the aftertaste. The aftertaste was very, very sweet. And now, uh, because of it being fried, it actually it took away a little bit of sourness of the apple, it took it away. And that makes it to be more enjoyable. So, I really enjoyed this. And thank you very much, Mr. Mike, for exchange uh, this recipe with me and also for sponsoring this video so and also my patrons thank you very much i can never thank you enough you guys have been wonderful in my life i'm so glad i also want to become my patron please you will see the link in the comment section below you can also contribute to my group on me in case you feel like doing that that one is one time thank you very much thank you massive thank you to all of you for supporting me. I'm very, very grateful.